Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. For those that have been watching multiple of them, th welcome back. I'm uh, going to be talking about another mid-tier damage scaling armor strip build. Uh, for this, you would have had to have done the star chart up to the point where you had fought the Ropolis, say you had farmed Wisp. You probably have one of these mods sitting around. Um, and it's going to be the Argonac Amalgam mod. Metal Auger, uh, where it provides punch through, uh, and damage from daggers reduces armor by six, uh, and as well as enemies being revealed by punch through. We're going to be utilizing for this video just for its special stats. Again, this works on any single dagger, uh, dual daggers, not so much. Um, and we're going to be utilizing a gas electric build, which traditionally is not the highest scaling for not being primed. Um, there are some weapons, primaries, with incredibly hard-hitting secondary abilities where gas can be useful, as well as the strofa with its heavy attack build, but we're not going to be talking about that. This is actually a status quick attack build uh, with condition overload, so we're going to be getting our damage from the stance itself with single daggers and dealing with uh, armored units i would highly recommend the stinging thorn it has a very huge amount of forced slash procs on it i highly recommend this on single daggers against armored units uh not with this weapon but with other daggers you can run a slash toxin build and do incredibly well in the void against the corrupted and i would recommend that also uh, but this is going to be a gas electric because we are looking to maximize the number of instance damage in an aoe to get as much shred and abuse this argonac amalgam mod as possible uh, how this mod works is anytime a dagger or dagger status effect deals damage uh, it will strip the armor of an enemy by six so how you amp this when dealing with uh, say like Grenier which we will be <clears throat> is it's more for grouping and utilizing the AOE ticks from gas gas deals damage based on base damage and crit damage and it also takes into account health uh with headshots sorry not health so with this we're trying to group enemies as much as possible and this is going to be for your survival builds uh this will not do as well against uh say areas where you need to do single target damage but this is another mod that allows you to strip enemies down to zero and to get to health. Um, so with this, the biggest issues is going to be uh, gas and electric. Their damage gets reduced quite a bit by enemies with armor. But because of the mod, and this the Argonac is available fairly early, uh, but you have to get to the Ropalist fight which is later in the star chart on Jupiter. Uh, and you acquire this from the Ropalist. And you probably, and that's where you get most of the Amalgam mods. The other ones are from uh, Fishers and Fortuna. <clears throat> so let me just give you an example of how it works. We're going to spawn some tanky boys, uh, Exo Grokstad officers. These guys have a ton of armor. Base armor is 1,000, so multiply it by 190, <clears throat> give or take. And we're going to spawn them in at 190. Going to drag them in. This is a pull-in effect that you gain from your focus tree. And as you can see, the damage ticks, and you can see some of the health very quickly. This guy has red health. Just from those couple of 
uh, attacks. The gas built up and dealt in an AoE so many ticks so fast it was able to strip the armor. Uh, and that's essentially what we're going to be utilizing, that mechanic. Uh, let's go do uh, a little bit of Steel Path. Uh, if you want to watch footage, I'm going to go to the first Acolyte. You'll get to see it. If you just wanted to know what the mechanic was, uh, or know like how to build it, any dagger with high tick uh, dots absolutely does wonderful with this. Um, with the Rock to Dark Dagger, you get the benefit of its uh, Syndicate effect. And not even using the Syndicate mod, the radiation is going to help keep your health up. And um, gas and electric deal damage based on when the enemy gets hit. So provided you're hitting incredibly fast, the damage amps that much faster. So you're not waiting, say, with like slash or heat for it to tick. It deals damage on tick. So stack a bunch of attack speed. Gas Electric with the Argonac Amalgam Mud, and you should be able to get this effect. Even Gas, also. So you're looking for something with multiple hits. That's why I like using the Stinging Thorn, even though it is uh, a little bad with the AoE, even though we got this here. But mostly you're going to be attacking in the forward, and it's got the uh, two forward attack with the AoE. But the good attack is the standing auto. It does move you forward. And the second portion, or the first attack, is a two hit. And the first part of the that attack is kind of likely to be a headshot. So the damage is actually pretty decent, even though this weapon isn't using any crit right now. But anyway, here's some footage. Uh, we're going to go through the first Acolyte. Thank you for watching.
Your will was greater. This is good. Okay, so some final thoughts. <clears throat> um, this build is extremely effective at like mid-tier gameplay. And I would say anything that counts as mid-tier, obviously that's a subjective, not concrete term. Um, this build will do like level cap. Um, with a very, very strong ribbon, um, especially with this weapon, but it provides you with a huge amount of, uh, of survivability because of the shield refresh from the Rock to Dark Dagger. Um, some hidden scaling with this uh, is the gas headshot double proc on the AoE um, and electricity as well. It's based on the level literally the height of the proc the gas proc is based on where the enemy was hit uh so say with the stinging thorns double hit on the front it's got a slash proc slash proc is just a ge generic status effect where it just starts doing damage but gas and electric have a height component to them um as well as the aoe and that is susceptible to uh, headshot multipliers. Uh, so you get the initial headshot multiplier and then you get the headshot multiplier on the AOE if it hits something else at the same height. Because there's similar units, <clears throat> like similar sized units, uh, it will hit essentially the same unit if there's two identical units standing next to each other. You will get the headshot and then the headshot again, somewhat consistently. Um, the build heavily benefits from high, high attack speed. I was running essentially three attack speed mods. Uh, Berserker Fury, when fully stacked, is plus 70%. Base attack speed is one. Um, I've been running this Neja for a bit, which is a expensive build. Uh, but Eternal War, so uh, additional 53%. And Arcane Strike. Plenty of attack speed. Um, and just, if you want, you can try to abuse shield gating. Uh, you will be killing. Um, it, obviously, this doesn't do as well against unarmored units because uh, they don't have armor. Uh, where with Grenier, their main defense scaling is armor. So you end up bypassing their main sca uh, defensive scaling and getting to a much weaker stat that you can hit on something like uh, Infested. Though Gas does gain multipliers against the weaker enemies, the stronger enemies uh, are not weak to Gas. So it's like, okay, you're going to equip Gas and it's like, great, you're, you're killing trash mobs faster. Uh, but the viral from the Panzer does help quite a bit. Uh, obviously, it stacks, and it's an additional condition overload stack. Um, but this could also be good for, say, like Index with a Toxin build, um, or say like a Magnetic Toxin build would also be really good for just additional base damage. Uh, you would have to wait for Tox... Uh, you would have to have a higher toxin proc. I would recommend a fairly high toxin proc compared to magnetic. So that's the major damage that you're dealing. Um, the other thing would be uh, like the properly stat stick. Uh, because I was using the Panzer and it's got those spores, you are not going to be using the Argonac too much. Um, if you wanted to and you want to get it a, a little bit of gunplay in, uh, you could properly mod this. Uh, I was using Amalgam Serration purely for the sprint speed boost. I obviously didn't do it in that quick five minute run. But throw on Hunter mods to scale uh, 
to scale your viral damage. It, it's literally free AoE damage. Um, and that's all I can really think of. I would have done more damage if I had done like the new core, but it was really just to show off how this weapon scales. And you can see that it, it requires a couple hits. And that's part of the reason why I ran double range uh, to get 6.7 with this uh, with two stacks on it. Six, like almost seven range is pretty good nowadays considering. Um, but because of the fact that the dagger generally carries a very small range, it is going to be fairly hard to get a very, very high range, which would give you that extra scaling in terms of uh, kills per second. Though it wouldn't help you basically with uh, killing stuff quickly, but you would kill groups of enemies faster. And because of the Amalgam Argonac mod, your puncture would, uh, your, the, da the good bleed through damage. Yeah, the punk, the punch through is going to help a whole lot. So for stuff like that, that would be a way you could build it. Uh, the armor removal for gas builds. Um, this would also be effective on Deimos, though I would try to have an actual build on here because you are going to need your primary or say you have a very strong secondary. Just trying to show something different. Uh, thoughts, comments, concerns, leave a comment. But for those that didn't know about this mod setup, uh, and you could run this with any single dagger. It doesn't have to be this one, but... I enjoy the Dark Dagger because of the uh, the shield refresh. Works great on Hero, by the way. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Y'all have a wonderful day.